Armada, Russia's touted next-generation tank, was supposed to usher in a new era of armored dominance. Boasting advanced weaponry, unparalleled protection, and cutting-edge technology, it promised to be a game-changer on the battlefield. Yet despite its formidable reputation, the Armada remains largely unseen, a silent spectator in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. What makes this technological marvel sit on the sidelines, leaving the battlefield to its less celebrated counterparts? Today, we will delve into the reasons behind this puzzling absence, exploring the intricate web of technical challenges, strategic calculations, and symbolic complexities that keep the Armada out of the fight. Stay tuned and share your thoughts at the end of the video. The introduction of the T-14 Armada was eagerly anticipated as a significant enhancement for Russia's armed forces. When revealed in 2015, it received acclaim as the most revolutionary tank in a generation due to its advanced features. The tank's Afghanit active protection system successfully intercepted armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding Sabot cannon shells, which typically contain depleted uranium cores. This ammunition is commonly employed in attacks against modern armored vehicles. Major General Sergei Lipova, the hero of Russia, said in an interview that the Russian T-14 tank surpasses Western counterparts like the Abrams, Leopard, and Challenger. The T-14's unique design ensures greater crew protection from incoming shells and superior cross-country capabilities, with crew placement in separate armored capsules rather than evenly inside the hull. This design, tested in live combat conditions in Ukraine, significantly enhances crew survivability. Lipova also highlighted the T-14's lighter weight, enhancing battlefield maneuverability, especially in swampy terrains. On paper, the Armada's profile is intimidating. Boasting advanced composite armor, a 125mm smoothbore cannon with laser-guided missile capabilities promised to shrug off even the most potent anti-tank weaponry, and a robotic turret with automatic loading capable of firing rounds every five seconds. It promised to be a juggernaut. However, the harsh reality paints a different picture. Production delays plagued the project, with the initial goal of fielding 2,300 armadas by 2022 drastically scaled back due to technical challenges and Western sanctions. The delivery timeline seems unclear, potentially stretching beyond 2025. As of October 2023, only about 40 armadas have been reportedly produced. Furthermore, the software, the very brain of this beast, proved vulnerable and prone to malfunctions. The reliance on imported components choked off by sanctions, hampered development and introduced potential security risks. This vulnerability was further amplified by the tank's complex design, making repairs and maintenance a logistical nightmare and hindering its potential for sustained deployment. According to British intelligence reports, the first tranche of armadas allocated to deployed Russian troops was met with surprising resistance. Soldiers expressed concerns about the tank's condition, highlighting issues with the engine and thermal imaging systems. While the specific details remain unclear, these concerns raise doubts about the armada's ability to perform reliably in the demanding environment of the Ukrainian conflict. This hesitation goes beyond mere battlefield anxiety. British intelligence doubts the armadas even meet the basic standards of operational readiness. The rushed experimental industrial production batch of 2022, as Defense Minister Shoigu himself admitted, suggests the tank more suited for testing grounds than the unforgiving crucible of war. Saying that Russia has never deployed the T-14 Armada to the battlefield may contradict some of Russia's claims. Moscow has deployed its Armada tanks to gauge their real-world effectiveness in live combat conditions. According to Moscow media, TASS, units of the Southern Military District are believed to have already integrated the T-14 tanks into their service. Earlier this year, the Russian army commenced the operational deployment of the T-14 tank. 
Notably, the tank was employed to engage Ukrainian positions from a distance, intentionally avoiding direct assault operations. The knowledge gained from this deployment is considered crucial for enhancing and refining the capabilities of the Armada platform. Media reports suggest that the Armada tank saw active service in multiple instances within the combat zone in Ukraine. Following this special operation, adjustments and modifications are being made to the vehicle based on the outcomes of its use. However, Russia's official confirmation of the Armada's use in Ukraine, followed by its swift withdrawal, left more questions than answers. The Armada's quick exit from the Ukrainian battlefield raises some interesting possibilities, each offering a unique perspective on the reasons behind its fleeting presence. One explanation could be that the tank didn't perform as expected in real combat, facing challenges that its impressive features couldn't overcome in the tough conditions of the Ukrainian conflict. On a practical level, the Armada is an expensive and not widely available tank. Russian commanders might have chosen to protect it rather than risk it in the intense Ukrainian conflict. This perspective considers the high cost and limited availability of the Armada, guiding the decision to prioritize its safety. Another interpretation highlights a strategic motive involving propaganda. It suggests that the tank's initial deployment was more about showcasing Russian technology than engaging in a prolonged conflict. The retreat in this scenario might have been a calculated move to create a certain impression without exposing the Armada to unnecessary risks. The Armada has become a potent symbol of Russian power. Its absence could be interpreted as a sign of weakness, a narrative amplified by the Kremlin's relentless propaganda, which has built up the tank's image to an almost mythical level. Any potential failure would be a public relations nightmare, damaging Russia's image as a military superpower and potentially eroding public confidence in its military capabilities. While the Armada's ultimate fate remains uncertain, its story echoes a powerful message. In the fog of war, it is adaptability, not hype, that will determine the victors and the vanquished. Well, that's all for today. Please drop your thoughts in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.